Okay guys, so in today, uh, today's video tutorial I'm going to talk about Unity Framework. Uh, Unity is a dependency IOC container, dependency indexing container from Microsoft. So I'm going to I'm going to write very simple ASP.NET application and show you how to you know integrate Unity with your project with your ASP.NET project. The first thing I'm going to do I'm going to create a project here ASP.NET Web application. Let's go ahead and say OK. I'll also, in from the template, I'm going to choose uh, MVC application, and I also like to have a unit test corresponding to this one. So I'm going to choose that default MVC, and here is my uh, unit test frame. And then go ahead and choose OK. Okay, these are by default, you know, MVC. Since I didn't choose, um, it added all these things. But I'm not, I'm not going to use any of those here. I'll show you. I'm going to. Okay. All right. This is a default template by created by ASP.NBC, and I'm going to. Um, Let's go ahead and change it. I want to have one. Um, I'm going to create a controller here. I'm going to say um, just an MC controller, um, and I'm going to say Unity Demo Controller. Okay, here I have my default, you know, a demo control, Unity demo controller here, and of course, you know, by default right now it's by default this template runs in a home controller. But so I'm going to go into um, go into a settings right here in a uh, in route config. Let's go ahead and change this route. Instead of using by default right now, go into home controller. Let let's redirect it to. Let's go into our Unity demo controller. Oops. By changing Unity demo, this would force us to go into Unity demo, and it should go into index method, right? In index action method. But however, um, we don't have um, we have not created index view. Go ahead and create index view so that it would compile. Go into uh, Ada view go index just doesn't have any model I don't really uh, care about any of those my goal is to show how to you know uh, use the unity so I'm gonna leave the way it is and I am in index of unity demo okay something like that and if I build this one, I should come into this page because we change our route configuration, right? So okay, good. As you can see, uh, by just by looking at, at into the URL, we are coming into this page, which is okay. Now we can start using Unity to learn something about dependency injection and how to do configuration. Okay, to be to able to do that, let's very first thing we have to do, you know, we need to have this container. We need we need to we can go ahead and download um, the container using the Managed Nuget Package Manager. We're going to do a search for Unity here. Okay, here as you can say, Unity application block. Unity is a lightweight extension dependency injection. Actually, you can use this one too. Uh, this is the main um, library or DLL, and this one is somebody wrote it like for the ASP specifically for ASP.NBC. I'm not going to do this one. I'll tell you the reason for this one why. I'm going to go ahead and install the Unity framework into my application. Go ahead and accept that agreement. Okay. 
at this point you know that the library is now installed just to make sure go into references here and if you go down here see the Microsoft the practices the unity these 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 are the library downloaded that it needs. Now the DOL is in our system. So, uh, <coughs> so how we, once we have the DLL, then you need to know how to do configuration that one, right? Okay. Even before that, you know, let's talk about um, as for a demo. Let's create a some folder here and I'm going to say uh, services. Right now these are just imaginary services. That services, you know, most of them, you know, do infrastructure level services. All of them has uh, interfaces and we're only going to expose interface to our controller because we don't like to have access to um, our concrete implementation of classes into the controller. Okay, let's define some fake, you know, uh, 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 services here. Let's say uh, I would like to have a service that provides maybe local weather service or something. So I'm going to go ahead and add an interface. It's a uh, local weather service weather service provider. I will have a let's say let's define this interface in the service and let's define some method in this. Um, let's say get local weather by I don't know a zip code in this I'm going to pass the zip code here to the method okay this is our interface based on this let's go ahead and define a class called local weather service provider the service provider class okay and of course the whole idea is this class will implement our in, in interface called I local where the service provider and it has implemented our method right so okay so for just for the demo purpose of course in real life of course you might have you might subscribe to web services provided by Yahoo or I don't know all the weather service.com or whatever but just for the demo purpose, I'm going to say, um, we're just going to return some string here. I'm going to say, um, your way, it, it is it's snowing, well, it's snowing right now in your area, in your area. I don't know, just for the demo purposes, right, okay something like that it's just going to return that service now we have service and we would like to consume this service into our uh, controller and name of our controller is unity demo controller right here so uh, just for the just for now just think about this if there is no without dependency injection if we if we would like to consume that service that we just defined we have to of course we have to uh, we will have to either do something like this um, local weather service provider is to a name resolution weather service provider something like this by default okay we have this private field right this in in the absence if what if we would like to um, let's say string current weather in my area something like this here's the weather service and get location weather get local weather by zip code maybe I'll pass my zip code this is imaginary zip code okay Okay, it is telling me it's invalid zip code. Of course, it's a string, so I'm I always passing it as a number. So okay, make sure that a string. But of course, you know, right now it's this object right here is not really initialized. Maybe um, you know, most of the time we might create a constructor here, Unity demo controller, 
in, in inside the controller we might you know um, we might say um, whether service provider equals to create a new instance of 